Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to Physics High. And today I'm going to give you a really quick overview of the whole idea of black body radiation and with a little touch on how that's impacted our understanding of modern physics. <music> Now I do have a full set of videos which covers all of those concepts and I encourage you to have a look at those. The links will be in the description below. But, but today's just a quick recap. Now remember, like, share and subscribe, put a comment down below if this is helpful for you and maybe consider buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. When we have the concept of a black body, in essence, it's an ideal body. I'm gonna draw a circle here as a spherical object. It's an ideal body. And in this case, it absorbs all the radiation that falls onto it like so. Now that, what happens there is as that body then starts to heat up as it now radiates that energy outwards in the form of electromagnetic radiation. Now, obviously most objects are not true black bodies. They do reflect some light. So this is an idealized object. But the point here is, is that when it absorbs that energy, it radiates that out in the form of electromagnetic radiation. Now experiments that done in the 19th century showed that when you were to graph the value of the intensity of any specific wavelength with respect to the wavelength, then what you end up getting is a graph that looks something like this. And it's shown that if the object is radiating energy, it actually also has a temperature. And so now what we have is, is that we have various temperatures actually gives us various shapes of the graph. So this might be, for example, a relatively low temperature, but something that has a higher temperature will have a graph that looks like this. You'll see that the peak is significantly higher and you'll also notice that that peak has shifted. So we've got, let's say over here, a wavelength here that is a shorter wavelength in which has the peak value. Now the key point here is, is that that describes black body radiation and that's the experimental evidence. The hunt was then on to find a theoretical understanding of that. And it wasn't until Max Planck by surmising that objects were radiating energy in discrete values or what we refer to now as quanta was able to mathematically verify that sort of relationship here. There's much more to that and again I encourage you to look at my videos where we look at Max Planck and we also look at Wien's law which looks at the link between the wavelength of the max that has the maximum intensity and the temperature as well but that's a much bigger discussion. But that is in essence the black body radiation and the black body curve that is associated with it. Hope that helps you. Please like, share and subscribe. Take care, bye for now.